Kuwait is home to one of the world's leading diabetes institutes. Founded by the Kuwait Foundation for the Advancement of Sciences, the Dasman Diabetes Institute was officially inaugurated on the 6th of June 2006. Its mission is to prevent, control and mitigate the impact of diabetes and other chronic conditions in Kuwait through effective programmes of research, training, education and health promotion and thereby improve quality of life in the population. There was, uh, about nine years ago, there was recommendation by His, uh, His Highness the Amir of Kuwait at the time, Sheikh Jaba, that what is the future problem in health in Kuwait? That's what basically they were looking at. And at that time, they asked many doctors in Kuwait, it's almost above over 100, and everybody says diabetes. Long time ago, we didn't have a diabetes as a real problem in, 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 the, in the health in here. Uh, but uh, with this decision which was made, it was very good that by 2006, actually 6-6-2006, six, six, that the new Amir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah, that this was uh, looked at, opened, at the time, and, uh, and it was basically a started work. Through innovative technology, research and training, the Dasman Diabetes Institute is developing a model health system in primary and secondary healthcare services. Such a system is the most cost-effective approach to chronic disease diagnosis and management, putting the citizen at the centre of the healthcare services. Most of the time, it, it's really behavior change, which is which is happening, and we can do it. We can do it, especially in the young generation, because they, if they get to school, the information, and the teachers that we are also having from the Ministry of Education, we are training them to to, to do this. In the, they start learning what is happening, and they believe on what is happening if it is part of the classroom and, and so on. And, and I think it is happening right now where in-house we know that they will change what they're eating that they make different to, to, for them. Kuwait actually for communicable diseases is fantastic. Now, for chronic diseases, that's another issue. And that is why now diabetes become important for Kuwait to be taken care of. How much more that we can do in order to make sure that the children in the schools and other things, they learn more and more of what they need to do in order to, to, to make sure that they will be going up in a different age without diabetes type 2. We have found the new gene for the diabetes and actually for, for the obesity. And there are four areas that we have to worry about. Obesity, hypertension, kidney, and diabetes. So it's a package. It's not only one or, or the other. Five of the six Gulf countries are included in the list of the world's top ten countries for diabetes incidence and prevalence. And sadly, it is Kuwait that leads the statistical race. More than 21% of Kuwaitis suffer from the chronic disease. If you come here to go to a doctor, there are two things going to happen. One is that your blood test and everything is just taken. And, and it stays electronically available for the future. That's number one. And what kind of drug you took, how much you took, and so on. And the second part of it is that we also looking at the, the, the alternative to what is happening to them and bringing, making sure that the patients 
also has the responsibility for eating differently and we teach them nutrition, what to do, and we teach them other things how to do. The Director General of the Dasman Diabetes Institute, Dr. Kazem Bech Bahani, is a world-renowned expert specializing in preventable infectious diseases. He attributes the rise in incidence of diabetes to an increasingly sedentary population. It is precisely this change in lifestyle that has triggered type 2 diabetes in the region at an alarming rate, especially among children. Long time ago, it was in the 80s, when the new hospitals were built, there were five of them. And these were the hospitals at the time had enough beds for the population. Now, for years, we didn't do much on this one. And then the number of beds which are needed is much more than what is available in the old hospitals. So that's what the decision which was made that let's start building the hospitals in here, that has already started. And I think because, because of that, it's gonna be very different Kuwait you will see when these hospitals are finished.